Good morning, folks. We're moving on from Helene to the big storm in the Pacific. We've got a look at sunspots, exoplanet science, and one of the biggest nova discoveries of the last few years. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Solar flaring is low. Eruptive activity is low, both at the sunspots and the plasma filaments. No significant coronal holes at the moment. Don't forget the next Rager cycle uptick is expected in about three to six weeks. Until then, we will continue monitoring these eruption threats. Let's take a closer look at the sunspots here. There are several active regions, but none are tremendously well developed. Size is moderate, even with some moderate magnetic complexity, but their lack of large umbra and the moderate other characteristics has left them very quiet here now. While cleanup is ongoing in the United States from Helene, Craython is spinning and developing near the Philippines. While landfall is not expected with the storm, it's going to be in this region quite a while, moving very slowly. We'll shift up near Taiwan as we shift into October here early next week. Let's go next into space and find a white dwarf that has astronomers saying they're looking into the future. Their planet, what Earth could be in several billion years if our sun goes into the red giant and then white dwarf phases. They're not sure the Earth would survive that when the sun does it, but this planet survived it. It currently sits at about 2 AU from its host star, unlikely to harbor any habitable conditions due to first the radiation event of the red giant, and then the distance from the white dwarf, leaving it cold now, but they say it was likely closer and more temperate in the distant past. Lastly, on the article front, the missing link in the Nova chart. Milanova are a thing. The name is just like millimeters versus meters, Milanova versus Nova, about a thousand times smaller than most of the Nova they see in the cosmos. One they spotted here had an energy release equivalent to about an X9000 super flare. Folks, it's amazing watching how fast Nova science is changing. They're discovering many different types of supernova and nova. We began discussing micronova events in 2018, but they weren't officially declared by mainstream astronomy until 2022. We had suggested that a mini nova event was likely in the gap between micronova and nova, and now they found them. Millinova. Yes, the range of nova events in the universe goes from the very powerful and energetic supernova down to tiny events that might not be any bigger than super flares. Nova science changes again for about the 40th time in the last decade. Folks, don't forget, I will be out at Observer Ranch tomorrow, Sunday. Later in October, they're throwing a birthday party for me. Links are below the video. We would love for you to come see us in person. ObserverRanch.com we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.